All right, I either gave you a supply package in person or one was delivered to you. And depending on whether I saw you on Tuesday or Thursday, I, on Tuesday I had a little more time to go into what was in the package. For those who came on Thursday, uh, you simply picked it up. And so I wanted to explain a bit more about what is in there. So first off, you should all have received four clamps, uh, two, two sets of two in different sizes, and you need those to do clamp dyeing, which you see an example of that on the right-hand side. And those wooden pieces that you've been asked to get, those are for the clamp dyeing, and I have posted a how-to video on clamp dyeing, which you should all watch. Perhaps bizarrely to you, it may have seemed you received a part two feet of PVC pipe. And that is so you can do pole wrapping, which in the coming week, I will post another video on how to do that. But on the right, you see the uh, result that you get, or a result you get from pole wrapping. And then you had this bigger package with a number of things put in it. There are indigo crystals and chemicals to make two indigo baths. And so the thinking is, is that you'll make one bath to try your samples. And then for your final project, you may want to make another. That will be up to you, but you have enough to do too. There is alum mordant, which is the fixative that you need to apply to your silk cloth, which I'll be describing shortly, before you dye it with the cochineal insects, which I'll also be describing more shortly. You also have a half yard of silk cloth that should be used with the cochineal. And you have one silk wool scarf. It's a blend of those two fibers in that package. So let's take a closer look. There are the two packages that stapled together so that all you have to do is dump those into your five gallon uh, bucket, obviously in the order in which I demonstrated in the how to mix an indigo bath that, um, video. So 20 grams of indigo, 50 grams of thiox, and 100 grams of soda ash. And you have two sets. And as I said, one to do samples and one to do your final project. All right, here's the alum and the cochineal that you're going to be using on your silk fabric and your scarf, if you so desire. Now. When you use cochineal, you have to mordant it, which means you're putting a fixative on it so that once you dye it, the color won't just wash away. And most natural dyes, you need to mordant your fabric before you dye them in whatever color it is, the only exception being indigo. So before you think about dyeing your silk fabric or scarf, you'll mordant it with the alum. Now you see here you've got 6 grams and it says 10% of WOG. WOG stands for weight of good. So from that we can deduce that the fabric and the scarf weigh 60 grams. And I will be posting a video on how to mordant. Some of you saw it in person. And then next week I will also post a video on dyeing with the cochineal. Now you see here it says 20% weight of good, so we know there must be 12 grams there. And that's going to give you a really deep, rich red color, like you see on these scarves. In fact, these scarves are the exact same type of scarf you have in your package. So cochineal is a really fascinating dye. As I've noted, it is an insect dye, and it is only the females that produce the color. So down on the lower right hand side, those white specks on the nopal cactus are the insects. And once they've laid their eggs, then they are scooped off the cactus and they're put out in the sun on mats to dry. 
and once they have dried, then they are ground up, as you see here. So I'm suggesting to you that you need a mortar and pestle or just a stone, something to grind them, but grind them as fine as you're possibly able to. Now, one of the cool things about cochineal is that it, depending on the alkali of your dye bath, it will be more orange or purple. The more acid it is, the more orange it will be, the more alkali it is, the more purple it will be. And so those textiles on the top, all of those have been dyed with cochineal. Here's the package with your fabric, a half yard of silk and the silken wool blend scarf. They're in there together. These are called drop spindles and everyone received one. We're going to be using those later on in the semester. So just hold on tight with those. And finally, here is the Hello Loom. And when our guest Amanda Thatch comes to class again later in the semester, you'll learn how to use that. So those last two items, the drop spindle and the Hello Loom, just hold on tight to those. We just took this opportunity to give them to you now.